Now, what was this thing they did on Extra about you and Elle McPherson? You guys had an affair or something? No, no, that was all nonsense. Was it? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, sure. He's a married man. <laughs> you know, right. She went. She came to the show, and she's right. like very uh, flirtatious to everybody. Right. So uh, then somebody started this crazy idea that. Uh, and she's very bright, so you get attracted to a, a very smart woman who's good looking, right? She's bright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. No, right. So, so you're saying that Elle McPherson was on yeah. the show as a guest. She's a gorgeous woman. She's beautiful. Well, yeah, I guess. But like, I don't have like I'm not like you. I don't have like a real high sex drive. Right. You don't really? No, not at all. Well, that's something to advertise. Yeah. <laughs> so you, so you, like, you, she was flirtatious, and were you like sort of being flirtatious with her? You had to be attracted to her. No, I wasn't attracted at all. I'm oh. not attracted to like uh, girls, girls that much. I used and to be when I was gay. young. And you're not gay? Maybe those pain pellets were telling you something, pal. Oh, I'm right telling you right now. <laughs> no, when I was young, I used to be. Really? Yeah. But well, you're so still you're a young guy. Even, are you? You do have sex with your wife, don't you? Yeah, I have sex with my wife. Yeah. Okay. How, how often? How like often? once a week? Well, the thing is, like with my wife, we have sex because we know exactly. What what to do right. with each other. Right. But if I was with somebody else, I'd have to, you know. The, I don't you'd believe this for a, a minute. No, I'm something. serious. I've never met a guy who said this. But who how often that? do you have who sex with your wife? I've never met a guy who says, your sex life doesn't, your, your, your sex drive doesn't, you don't have a low sex drive. Yeah. There's just no way. Does he masturbate? My, do you masturbate? Oh, yeah. I you do. High, so then you have a high sex drive. For myself. No, no. no. <laughs> so when Elle McPherson is running around in a little short skirt and she's looking gorgeous, don't tell me you're not thinking about doing her. And don't, yeah, I mean, no, you I swear to God, I'm not. I think, really? No, I've been to the doctor about this. Really? really? Yeah, You've yeah. gone to a, a psychiatrist? No, no, a physical doctor. Because you're saying, hey, I don't get aroused that a much. A urologist. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, but wait a second. Mentally, a you get aroused, right? Did he have Having trouble? Are you getting having trouble getting? You might. I'm telling you, you're gay. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Wait a second. You're telling me. No, I can masturbate as much as anybody. Okay. No, not as much as me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, believe really me. Good. Don't take that challenge. He has more free time. I bet. <laughs> Wait, Norm. I don't understand something. What? You went to a doctor. You said, hey. What What's with say? me? I'm around Elle McPherson, and I'm not getting aroused. No, I didn't mention her. <laughs> yeah, but and, and you start to get concerned that, hey, why am I not getting aroused around these beautiful women? Yeah, because I used to always get aroused all the time. Right. No matter what. Like, I could see a giant fat woman, like, part of her ass. You're right, yeah. and you get excited by <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Am, 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 are you on medication of any kind? No, no. no. I, I just, uh, now I'm just... Do you need that testosterone <laughs> patch or something? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it, it makes you more masculine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then your hair falls out. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, explain something to me. What's are, you, are you putting me on or are you being no, serious? No, I'm serious. You're being serious. It's hard to tell him. You're, you got concerned because you're around a lot of beautiful women and suddenly you weren't getting as many erections as you used to. Right. You go to the doctor, he checks out your weenie. Oh, he checked out my, first checked out my prostate. Right. And was yeah. anything wrong? Uh, well, was anything wrong? I got, the yeah, only the wrong check. thing, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't really, was anything, there was no, nothing wrong. No, nothing. He said, uh, he said like, uh, can you masturbate? Same yeah. thing we asked. Yeah, so really? I go, yeah, yeah, sure, I like right. doing that. Right, so, and, and your wife and you have sex, what, once a week? What I you, have sex. Wait a minute, so Norm, what do you think about what when you're masturbating? What do you think uh, about? Well, you know, like... Uh, Fat woman's ass? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, who do you think? Did you ever think about Elle McPherson? No, no, no. Oh, I don't believe that. Who do you think about? I don't think girls about... Girls you just met. i tell you something, I can't think about, like, uh, girls that I don't think I could have sex with, because I don't have that good an imagination. Right, it's got to be someone you think you can get. Right, That's exactly. how I am. Right. right. So, and so I... I so Sometimes I think of like uh, kind of unattractive girls where I'm <laughs> right, right. When you're, when you're doing stuff, than them. right? Yeah, yeah. I, I do that too, though. Yeah. Like some, like sometimes, like like one of the interns here or something. I'll think about because I think that like I could definitely get her. You ever think about Rosie O'Donnell oh, when you're good doing Lord. it? Oh Lord! No, no way, right? Yeah, name some names. Yeah, name some names. Of who Give you us think an about? Example. You know, what Rosie O'Donnell would be good at giving what? Really wide head. Oh, oh. that's funny. Does Rosie O'Donnell have the biggest head in the, on the planet? Yeah, she giant. really does. It's, yeah, how much is her head weigh? Do you take a guess? Uh, about her head weight? Yeah. Oh, well, that uh, that age-old argument, I'm not going to get into You're not that. even going to get into it. Yeah. I see. I see. And um, she's on the new $100 bill. Did you see her picture? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> Wait a second. Now, this is fascinating because I don't know. A girl know home or a friend over I and there's no girls. place for... What? I don't, I don't have sex with girls or men. Wait a minute. Norm MacDonald... Norm, you're a sexy dude. Uh, yeah, but I don't have... And you never, you never go out trolling. I mean, no I have girl. Had sex. Well, I well, realize you're not a virgin. You've yeah, got a yeah. kid. No. When was the last time you had sex? Uh, probably ten years ago. Shut, Shut up. up. Yeah, I have sex. I have, I, I have sex like by masturbating. And, yes. Yeah, but I, I find uh, sex very repetitive and dull and and kind of pointless. Your kid. This is a bit. <laughs> 
No, it's not. I, Norm I, 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 had, I had a lot of sex when I was a young man. When I was young, when mm-hmm. I was uh, nineteen or twenty, I had a lot of sex, and it, it's it's just the same thing over and over. Right. It feels really good. So start from the beginning and do well, it again. I mean, why would you? I mean, too much work doing eating with ice a chick cream. Or? Eating ice cream is really good too until you you're tired of it. You know. Then the next day you try a different flavor. <laughs> There's thousands of flavors of ice cream. But not of women. Do you this, go to hookers ever? No, I've never been to a prostitute. This ever. attitude you have could be said for anything, though. I know. For anything. anything you do for more weight, than once. Anything. Yeah, well, I, I don't do very much. You just don't like people in general. Yeah, you hate people. Or you hate women. Oh, no, I'm fascinated by people and by women. I, I'm just saying I don't need to. Uh, I don't but need... don't chicks throw themselves? I, I would think that after a show, you're hilarious. And well, to tell you the like, truth, I've I find, fascinated. To tell you the truth, I find sex to be very, a very filthy act. Are you a germaphobe? Uh, no, I'm, a I'm, I don't mean filthy. I mean filthy in the sense of shameful. Really? Were you raised Catholic? No. Oh. He's doing a bit. No, I'm not doing a bit. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I find it really hard to believe you haven't had sex in 10 years. I think... Well, I, no, no. I think that sex <laughs> is shameful and that people have sex knowing that it's shameful. And uh, again, it's like death. They just live in this par- fool's paradise where they pretend it's not. I mean, obviously people don't have sex in public, so there must be some shame Some to people it. do. But but it's well. It's, it's because you don't want to be caught in that compromise. You know, you're not exactly well, at, at your exactly. most attractive when you're having sex. There's all these well, there's social norms. You don't go so it's a to the bathroom in public either. But exactly. I'm not ashamed of that. Exactly. What? I'm not ashamed of going to the bathroom. It's part of taking in to stay alive. You have to evacuate. That's not. I'm not ashamed of that. That just comes with the territory. Uh, of course, and you have to. You have to uh, ejaculate too. But I evacuate and ejaculate uh, in in private. I don't do. I don't evacuate in front of a per another person. That's exactly what I'm saying. So you're not ashamed of it. You do it in order. To... I am ashamed. But he of is it. ashamed of it. That's, That's why what I do he's it saying. Alone. Do you evacuate in front of people? No, but I'm saying I'm not ashamed. I'm just, it's just not polite. It's not because a social... It's, it's, it's something that you share with somebody else. I mean, are you, uh, is, it a, is it a fear of intimacy? Just do not let anybody too close? You're telling me some little honey comes up to you at the show and she's like, and she's nice and, and she also reads. I'm not really, I'm not interested in sex. She, she loves uh, think, Mark Twain and I she's like, let's people. go. And she's not even offering sex. She's not even offering sex. I mean, a lot of women aren't interested in sex. She's all, hey, let's, you know, uh, it's late. Do you want to go have a cup of coffee? I would love to talk to you about that book you mentioned on stage. You know, Mark Twain's my favorite too. Uh, I, I think I would talk to some people, but I, I don't. I'm not much interested in, in small talk. So let me ask you this about women, though. So you don't even have physical attraction before you get to the point of talking yourself out of it. There's never a moment where you're like, "Wow, she's really pretty." Oh, like no, I, I think I'd she's love hot. To tap that. No, I'm not. I, I think I can see that she's pretty and stuff like that, but I'm far beyond. <laughs> I'm not a child. I'm not a child. When you know what I mean? I, if I look at a game of Monopoly, I don't go, I gotta play that. If I look at a shiny <laughs> bead, I don't go, I have to have that and roll it around in my fingers. You know, when you, when, as the scriptures say, you know, when, when you're a boy, you do boys things, and when you're, an, when you're a man, you. Men you, still do it. I don't know those, if you're. Well, I know they act like boys, but. Why know, is that boyish? That's human. Humans no, it's a child. That. It's being a child for your whole life. I know most people are children for their whole life, and it's a way of having fun. So you think you're more evolved? No, no, it's just no. I don't think I'm more evolved. I just think that I'm, I'm not just a child. Not I just I'm not a child. When you're home, I'm not the same as I am when I was five years old. When you're home in your squalid, empty apartment, all by yourself. And, it's uh, not squalid. Whatever it's a, you say, there's nothing in it. <laughs> squalid means filthy. It's, it's ascetic. All right, it's empty in your yes. in your s- tiny, empty, lightless apartment. Lightless and lifeless. So you're in there. You're all alone. No pets, right? No. You got nothing. No. You go home to the empty apartment and the yes. spider that lives in the corner yeah. and its <laughs> descendants. Uh, and you're you're on the couch, and you're like, you know what? I got nothing else to do, and I, so I think I'll get myself. What do you think about when you close your eyes? What do you fantasize about? I don't, there must I don't, be something oh, going question. on there. Fan- I don't fantasize. You don't picture some boobs? 
You well, don't. Oh, oh, you mean when I'm, I'm saying what? Uh, you must have you some mean fantasy. When, I masturbate? when you get yourself. Please don't say that because it's. Oh. We're not a news show. Oh, that, we can't that, even use medical meant? terms. That's yes. what she means. When you're oh. abusing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drink? No, I don't drink. You don't drink or smoke? No. Smoke pot? No, I don't. Any, are you on uh, Vicodin? No, no, no. I want to. I want to face. I want to face uh, life uh, four square. Wait. Go back to the question. Okay. So you close your eyes. You're on the couch. Uh-huh. You're like, well, I guess it's time. I got nothing <laughs> else to do. Uh-huh. I mean, you purposely not masturbate. Do you purposely not fantasize I so it'll take to, longer I, and eat up more of this life no, that you know is going no, away? No, I try soon? to. I try to not fantasize. Uh, yeah, you're, you're exactly right. I try not to fantasize because I think that's madness. What? Well, pretending that you're doing something. Don't even you're pretend. Not. Just picture. But I mean, that's pr- that's pretending. So you don't need but, any inspiration, and you don't care how long it takes. Uh, no, I don't need inspiration. Like, uh, like uh, the evacuation thing. You don't need inspiration for that. It's just a bodily function. Did you meet anybody, uh, any heroes of yours? Uh, you meet any big celebrities? Yeah, I met Larry Flint. <laughs> <laughs> he's not my hero, but he's a guy. He's a famous guy. I'm sure, he's famous. He's well known. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy meeting famous guys, sure. you know. And uh, he came out, he's in a wheelchair, and he talks like this. He goes, ah, wah. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, he was, uh, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. Well, no, was, like, no. He was shot. <laughs> So he, he was. He said, because uh, I was in the movie The People Against Larry Flint. Versus. Versus Larry You were in the movie. <laughs> yeah, the People versus. It was a famous movie, and yes, you're in it. I was in it. I was, <laughs> I was one of the people that was versusing it. Okay. So uh, I, I said to him, he said to me, he said to me, hey. Uh, <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. No, but this is what he said to me, Conan. He goes, hey, he goes, when you're in uh, Los Angeles, you know, I told him I was coming to Los Angeles. He goes, when you're in Los Angeles, he goes, look me up. He goes, I'll take care of you. <laughs> when other people say that, you think, like, well, ah, that means nothing, that means but nothing. coming from yeah. him. Like, if my Uncle Phil told me that from Minneapolis, yeah. I'd think if he went, hey, I'll take care of you when you come to Minneapolis, that means, like, I'll make you a nice chicken pot pie. <laughs> you know? But Larry Flint, that means, you know, I'll get you a couple of hot, dirty broads, you know? And then while you're having sex with them, I'll come into my wheelchair. <laughs> you know? Who knows what it means? Okay. Well, uh, 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 Star Not Live, uh, season finale. I should tell them about this. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum, who, knows of, who you know as, as the... <laughs> My God Almighty! <laughs> Someone shot a gun. No, no one shot a gun. It was the guitar feeding oh, that back. Was the guitar. Oh. Yeah, oh. you're obsessed. I don't know. I'm it 